Hey everybody, how's it going? It's your guy Manny and this is The Lineup. Okay, so wow, what a game between the Raptors and the 76ers. Uh, you know, a lot of people were deflated after watching the Raptors and the Celtics go at it. The Raps lost that one, 104-88. to It was kind of a weird game where the Raptors weren't really in rhythm at all, but ultimately you have to consider that Pascal Siakam was back and they're just adjusting to him. Now moving on though, the game against Philly was way different. The Raps had control for most of it, although the lead wasn't that big. Ultimately, it came down to two clutch three-pointers from Gary Trent Jr. and Fred Van Vliet. And then, icing on the cake was OG and Anobi hitting two free throws at the end to give the Raps the 115-109 W. And that's all she wrote for that one. Now, if we take a look at the odds, odds makers did favor the Raptors, or sorry, they favored the 76ers to win this one by two points. They were also favorites on the money line. And the over-under was set at 209. If we take a look at my picks, I was two for three, which means I'm now 18 for 21 overall. Now moving on, the Raptors are taking on the Pistons tonight. Dwayne Casey, former head coach, is back in town and he hasn't lost in Toronto since being let go. Now if we take a look at the odds for that one, the Raptors are heavy favorites at eight and a half points. They're also favorites on the money line as well, obviously with, with that being taken into consideration. Now, if we take a look at the over-under, it's been set at a very low total of 202 and a half. I'm going to take the Raptors on this one because Detroit is dreadful at scoring the ball, averaging almost 97 points per game when it comes to the spread. I know that it seems like a lot, but the Pistons are struggling to score the ball. They even average below 40% shooting from the field. They're the only team shooting below that 40% mark. And on top of that, Detroit's one of the youngest teams in the NBA. So Toronto's experience will play a big factor in this one, which is why I'm expecting the Raps to cover and I'll take the under on a 202 and a half. Now if we take a look at what the Raps can do on defense. Basically, you just gotta box out. Detroit is only averaging 31 rebounds a game. Like I said, they're a young team. They're not as strong as Toronto. And that's why Toronto needs to put the brain and the brawn together when boxing out and rebounding. On offense, Toronto needs to make sure that they're getting on those offensive boards and those second chance points. Anytime they miss a, a shot, a basket, they need to rebound it and then go in strong and get those second chance points. They're gonna be key for the Raptors in this one. Before I go, make sure you check out the wrap up tonight with the guys. Make sure you check out the quick react. The recap will be out tomorrow. Nothing but positive is gonna be posted as well. So check all that out on the Raptors public website. And join me next time for the next edition of the lineup. That's gonna be Monday when the Raptors take on Norman Powell and the Trailblazers in Portland. Thanks for watching.